a whole section for us on things that glow and chemistry that glows. And you wonder how teachers kind of come up with this stuff. Well, you, you're looking you're at the master the one, teachers huh? that are here. Ah. I love things that glow, absolutely. And um, pick up your glow stick. These are the kind of things that kids are using out on the 4th of July, and they just want to know how they work. How does it They're do They're so that? intrigued by them. So go ahead and snap it in half. All right, we can dim the lights because that's, and shake it that's up. the fun. This is a chemical reaction that's happening here. Now, sometimes when you have a chemical reaction, you'll see things like the color will change, things will bubble, there might be heat, but these are nice and cool. This is chemiluminescence, which means that it's releasing energy in the form of light. Oh, Isn't that cool? That is cool. So You do see them everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. Yeah. And the kids think that they're battery powered, and of course they are not. There's two chemicals inside, and she... Uh, actually cuts it open to show you what the secret is. So, uh -huh. Mark, I bet you've never so, seen this. Look at this. Here it is. There's one chemical inside this ampule and one chemical inside this ampule. Oh. So that cracking sound that you hear, hear that is cracking? actually that... Those that, two that ampules It's kind breaking. of like Da Vinci Code, where exactly. they had the thing that they <laughs> broke it, it dissolved the papyrus yeah, I don't think and all this that. Is on Da Vinci Code, but that's yeah. nice, science guy. I really appreciate you working on that. So here is the cool thing: is that um, in in China, uh, they will take these liquids here instead of a unity candle for you know a wedding ceremony. They actually take the two liquids and pour them together on the altar. It's kind of a new generation thing. So look, here are the actual liquids. So Mark, put on your safety glasses. Oh, safety first. All right, so yes, two of us to blow that's up right. or set on fire today. All right, so pick up pick up your little These mixture are there. These so there's a yes. two-part mixture, oh, okay. right? So now let's do this. Let's um, dim the lights first, and then as we mix, if you stay on that wide chart, and as we mix, you start to get to see it glow. Ready? Mix it in. Okay. Ready? Go. Nice. Back to the Isn't that other just one? beautiful? Oh, sure enough. Oh, look at that. That's oh, so beautiful. Oh, so we look get that. this liquid that glows. Now, bioluminescence would be like a firefly. Is that right? That's so, correct. Yeah, the fire, I mean, we don't have many fireflies here in Colorado. So here's what we were thinking. Look at what we have are the primary colors, Mark. We have red, green, and blue. Oh, colors primary are right. Roy G. Biv. <gasps> you are good. So Thank these you. are. this is for uh, no yellow, of course, in science. So it's red, green, and blue. So here's what we're going to do is bring the lights back up again. And I thought if you mixed them together, could you make white? So here's our handkerchief. So our handkerchief goes like this. And we're going to kind of lay it here. And now we just pour the liquid on the handkerchief. So go ahead and all pour it. All of it? Yep, mm. absolutely. So okay. just kind of pour it. So all together. Pour, Will this pour, dissolve my pour, skin pour, pour. if I... Uh, well, just kind a little. Of, not, just yeah. a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> and then you kind of mix it around like this. And now if you uh, bring the lights back up again, take a look at some of the glow that's there. You start to see that color mixing that's there. And oh, you get this beautiful sure kind of enough. white look at that. that you see there. So you can actually mix the colors and back and forth in this little container so you can actually see the glow. Oh, and pick it up sure with the enough. handkerchief. And voila, you've got it.